Hello everybody, Burnt Out Guy here and welcome back to Stone Block 2. Alright, so uh, I've been gone for just a little bit there. I was upgrading my computer and had a few little issues as well. Um, I was putting more RAM in my computer and I was like, oh, well, I need to like, you know, move my fan on my heatsink. And I kind of bent my CPU pins and then I spent a day trying to put them all back together again, like straight. And I did, I managed and I got the PC working again, but... I didn't want to take a chance of it like kind of like crapping out on me so i went and i ordered another one at the same time too so um yeah so now i'm running a ryzen 3600x as to oppose a ryzen 2600 so yeah so i upgraded a little bit got a little bit more you know juice going on here overclocked it a bit there and now we're, we're we're rocking there we're rocking so now i got also uh 32 gigs of ram so as to oppose of just 16 so that's going to help with a little bit of performance and all that good jazz as well um then i got some fans on the way then i'm going to change my fans out and clean these ones and kind of just like swap them in and out so i can do like kind of like cleaning cycles and uh, it'll match all the rgb and i'll be able to put all the with the new hub too i'll be able to hook everything up so i can see all my system fans in my computer so that's another really good thing too so yeah so that's kind of what i've been doing for like the last week so sorry with the little lack of uh videos there and everything but at the same time too i got to uh you know like let the game run a little bit at times and uh store up on some some stuff so in the last episode we were looking into getting uh these stellar energy conduits and uh we were stuck on i believe needing this melo melodic alloy which in return needed this end steel and popped chorus fruit. Okay. So we managed to get the end steel. So this took quite a while to craft, by the way, like it is retardedly slow in here because like, we also wanted to upgrade that thing too, as well into the, um, uh, the enhanced alloy smelter, which is pretty good. I think that's what we're going to do. I don't know why anybody would use this recipe though. Like this one is so much cheaper. Um, I think anyways, anyways, it doesn't matter. So, um, yeah, so we'll end up doing that one. Well, this one ended up scrapping and throwing away at one point because it's just not going to be needed anymore. Uh, but that's not what we're going to get into today. Today, we kind of need to get into something else because, um, you know, like we 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 can do this part now. Um, was it there? We can create all of this and here i'll show you the what else i've set up over here too as well this has taken a very long time to do um the pop chorus fruit that we that we did i planted one here and i let it grow and then i took the, the little chorus fruit things here and i planted them so these take an extreme long time so i made four of them i might end up like making a lot more of these like to feed this but who knows um it all depends on actually how often we we're going to need them. I think this is a good start though, because all we have to do is smelt these and it automatically gives you some of those and you have a small chance of getting an ender pearl. So just to show you how long this has been running has been probably about 24 hours maybe. And this is all I got. <laughs> and I got one ender pearl out of that. So it's not a really good thing to rely on ender pearls for apparently. So yeah. Um, so at least we got some of that. So now we can make that melodolic, uh, <laughs> and it's there so okay so now we got the the dark steel to make that and this and all that and now we're missing the most important thing out of all of that and it's the um the nether star oops i clicked on the wrong one uh is the nether star so now we need to get into making nether stars today now we can do this of two ways um one we can do a wither killer which we're going to have to do to start the whole thing off anyways, because that's the only way to originally get another star. But after that, we can grow them. So using this nether star essence, we can get the chunk. But in order to get all of that, we need to go to the nether star seeds, which are we need four nether stars. And then we have to get into the inferior essence stuff, which is pretty good because we're, I think, uh, I think this is the one we have. Or maybe not. I don't know. But we have Inferium Seeds. I don't know if those are the same ones as the crafting ones. But we'll find out. Those might just be to make um, the the Inferium plant. So you can make uh, Inferium, right? Because 
you kind of need that in order to get down that uh, that road. So, um, uh, what was I doing here? Yeah, so like the inferior seeds uh, might grow this stuff here, uh, this, and then. You know, you got to start off here, Ethereum Essence, and then, anyways, yeah, it's a long process, but we'll get into that too. I think we're going to make a whole episode out of that. But today, I think we're going to start off, we're going to make like a, a Wither Killer. Now, I was checking out on the net, and I found one that's pretty good, and it looks very reliable, and it's going to require all this wonderful doodad stuff. So, I think what we're going to start off with is by making a Wither Cage first. So, we'll start off with the, um, the reinforced um blocks i guess and then we'll make a three by three cage for it and then what we'll do is we'll put the glass in front of it afterwards and then we'll set up a dislocator uh, which we actually have one because we got it out of the mob farm so we'll set up one of those all right so let's make these reinforced blocks so we need uh, iron bars i don't know how many of these we're gonna actually need so maybe we should make quite a bit of them right yeah, yeah, let's make quite a bit of them. So, I guess we'll make like two stacks. Yeah, that looks pretty good. We'll make like two stacks. And then we'll do this. That'll give me, okay, that should be enough. That should be enough. We should be good. All right, so let's get out of there. Get all this out of my inventory. I can't wait till I get those disk drive things up and running in this whole uh crafting station thing up and running it's gonna be great all right so this is the area i set up for our mob farm so i believe we're gonna need to do something yeah sorry for the sound it's absolutely dreadful right i have to do like a three by three box so uh one two three so we're gonna have to come out to at least here Right. Uh, I think I'm going to sink it into the ground, actually. Do something like this, right? I think that would be better. Perfect. So we'll just put these down. We should be able to just put these here. This will be like a back wall. And then that will be the roof. So I guess the corners here I wasted too in a sense, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We kind of see those, so it's uh, it's okay. So the weather will spawn here in the middle. Um, this will be a back back wall. So this will be our like our wither cage. So we'll just put that there for now. Uh, no, this would be the middle because this is going to be a glass, right? So all we wanted was a three by three area. So he should spawn right in there. Now, um, we're going to need to get in there though, temporarily. Uh, so let's do something like this. So I want to run a redstone signal back here to be able to turn this thing on and off at will. I don't want to be able to leave it run all the time. I wanted to, I want to be able to shut it off, right? So I'll put a torch here for now, and a torch here for now. You, unfortunately, are going to have to move. Uh, maybe here would be good. I'll probably get some more torches in here, too, because this is going to like be a little bit of a small area. So let's uh, make some headroom. All right, so the goal here is that... The wither is going to be built here, and the get that out of my hand. And what's going to happen is their portal is going to be here, and he's going to kind of like get built, fall into the portal, and be trapped into here, 
we will have a slaughter factory, not a slaughter factory, but just a, another mob crusher killer here. And he will kill just this room right here. And this is how we're going to get our nether stars, right? At least our first four nether stars. And then after that, well, we can grow the rest, right? Um, just because I don't want this to run all the time in case it does glitch out or something like that. And we get a wither running around our map. So like, I just want it self-controlled, right? So, all right. So anyways, that's built. So let's get on with making the dislocator stuff and then we'll, we'll get on with the rest. So another thing we're going to need to, I forgot to uh, mention earlier was uh, this draconium infused obsidian. I believe that's what you need to do in order to make the portal. Um, pretty darn sure, anyways. I think we're gonna need. I'm gonna make sixteen. I think it's either sixteen or fourteen. I can't quite remember, but we'll we'll do it with that, and we'll just kind of toss that in there. So that's uh, step one of our our little doodad thingy, right? So now we're gonna make uh, this thing right here, the receptacle. So we need one. We need a draconic so oh a draconic oh Ew. uh blaze powder sulfur oh i think i do have sulfur somewhere so let me find this stuff and we'll, we'll make some up we only need what one or how much uh four of these okay that wasn't hard to find all right so if we go and we do these uh this um you know what it's used for quite a different bunch of things so we'll just make a whole bunch of it um why not uh what else we got here uh we need lisa here uh, this and then if we go we only need four of these so we'll just make four we won't make it a an absurd amount of those that's fine um so now we need uh, gold and a diamond. Uh, here we go. So now we got one of them thingies. And then, uh, let's just get out in case there was a quest involved with that. I guess not. All right. So now we just need four iron. I believe I got four iron here. Now we should be able to plop one of these things together and bam, good stuff. So that's, uh, another part of this, uh, thing done. So over here, we have one of these dislocators. Uh, we got this from um, uh, the, the mob farm over here uh, from the chests. So we can uh, go where this torch is, right? Stand exactly right where that is, because this is the middle. And then you uh, shift right click this, and it's now set to this coordinates right here. So this is exactly where we want the, the wither to, to spawn. So, um now do we do it in the ground yeah i think that's how it needs to be let's clear this out right here so this thing has to go in the middle i think i gotta get a new mouse um i've been saying that for a while now but it just hasn't happened i just haven't bothered <laughs> Um, still works good. You know what I mean? Not saying that it doesn't. Oh, that's, uh, in too early. Good thing I can break that. And it should be something like this, right? Uh, here. Here and here. And then this area here is where the portal is. And, like, once I put this thing in here, so that makes a portal. So if I fall here, I drop into there. Oh. oh, I wonder if I look down all the time. Maybe I should look forward. Maybe I wonder if that affects something. So uh, we're here right onto it. We'll go bam. Uh, error. This charm can only be bound to one location. Okay, so can you unbound it? Unbind it? <laughs> I just don't want to be looking down all the time. Uh, okay, well, they're not too hard to make, so uh, let's make one and bind it properly. 
We got all the stuff there. We'll just need an eye vendor. There we go. We made one. We'll replace the the one that we uh we did. All right. So right where this torch is, we'll stand right in the middle again, and then we'll look forward this time. Awesome. All right. So now if we go and we throw that in there. There we go. That, I think that's going to be a little bit better. I think so. So we'll just click that out for now so that we don't want the portal there, right? So now I guess we're going to go start working on the next thing. So we'll just uh, toss this here for the moment. Let's get ready to go make the next thing. There we go. We got a mob that just died in here. And that's probably going to make blood. Oh, and we're going to get some resonant ender at the same time, which uh, I don't want that. <laughs> we'll keep that out of there. Um, we'll just toss it there for now. All right, so um, next thing, next thing, next thing. We need to make some auto placers. And there's another thing too. <clears throat> it's called a scanner. Uh, this thing here, I think that's it, right? Yes, that's it right here. So it's just a dropper, redstone, and a spider eye. So, now we do scanner. So, this thing here, if you place it down, so if I go something like this, it should tell me that uh, there's a chest there. Set to current block. Uh, see, now it says chest. So, now you can like s interact with that chest if you wanted to or whatever. So, that's, that's a goal. Um, it's a thing, that's one something we need. So we'll just put that there. Then we should be able to make the auto placer. Oh, I'm gonna need quite a few of these, uh, not just one. And here is the last one. Bam, so now we got all of our, our little placers here, which is really good. We're, that's what we need now. Next thing we're gonna need is a redstone torch. That's what's gonna control all of that good stuff. So, uh, if I'm not mistaken, this has to be here like this. Yeah, I'm not mistaken. I could be mistaken. There we go. I knew I'd get it one out of three shots. And then the piping can go in the back. I'll give us a little bit more room back here. You can see what's going on. This pick is just so powerful, it's crazy. Nope. Don't want it dark though. Any more torches? Crazy. I'll have to get another torch. That's fine. Um, so, then, say, that's there, it's here, and then we'll put the, the scanner, oops, scanner here, get rid of that, oh, that sucks, I shouldn't have placed there like that, there we go, so the job of this scanner, what it's going to do is it's going to scan whenever there is a soul sand block there. And that soul, that is going to cause <clears throat> what we need to do into a pulse. So, now there's different modes to these things. So, uh, we got pulse, pulse, and pulse. That's what we want these ones at. And I guess we just leave these ones at deactivation because that means they should just place automatically. That's the goal behind those. Um, I know I made a clock, but we'll deal with that clock afterwards. I'll put the power in this here for now. Don't need any more of those. So let's go get uh, find that clock. Now we have a redstone clock. It's awesome. So this is going to help us control control us uh, our chingamabobbers over here. What else are we going to need? 
Now we're going to need some item transportations and we're also going to have to get into making more chickens. So, um, all right, so we're going to make some of this, um, this reinforced glass, uh, the, yeah. We're going to need a little bit of obsidian, some dirty glass is just soul sand and glass. All right, so now we got four of these, which is good. So four, probably going to need two more, actually. Two more batches, just to think about it, because we need nine, right? So let's do this two more times. Get rid of those. There, I think that's all we need to fill up the front, which is good. Um, okay, so in order for these things to get soul sand, we're going to use a roost. I think I'm going to put a barrel down first, though. So, here, we'll do it like this. So, this is the middle. Here, we'll put the, um, we'll put the roost here. that just down one block this will be extract always active that will be insert we'll take that off now if we toss our chickens in here we should get soul sand right perfect we'll just uh, break this back up no problem yeah. now with these we'll uh, be able to send stuff into here right put this on a different channel so that way it only receives <clears throat> uh this good stuff you can do it like this too actually bam, bam, bam. so that way they're on different uh setups but we will change the channels anyways uh, just to make sure so this will go uh insert on blue uh some Insert blue, take that off. Insert on blue, insert on blue, and this will be extract on blue. Back now. Um, oh, I think we have to round robin these. There we go. So that way everything gets it right um we'll just leave it there they'll all fill up but they should all fill up at the same time right eventually because they're gonna get all full so um we can speed this process up a bit we can sit here and um, accelerate the, the process and put a bunch of soul sand in there and then that soul sand will get transferred oops, uh put into here a little bit faster so Anyways, that's good. So we got that going. Now we got to worry about the uh, wither skulls. Um, that is going to be here in this thing. And we're going to be like, wow, how are you going to get your wither skulls in here? Ah, well, that's going to be a little bit of a different thing. So we're going to go here, insert on black. Insert black. Insert. We can take these extracts off. Uh, take that extract off. So I'm gonna leave this uh, as is for now. Put it on black, but we'll, uh, we'll activate it afterwards. It also has to be on round robin, so that way they all get they all get one right. Now, um, what's gonna happen here is uh, I need to. Uh, Uh, we're going to hook up power nodes to this eventually. Um, do I have them here with me? I do, I do. So we'll just do that now then. And I'll put it in my room first. I guess, uh, yeah, we'll just put it all. There we go. So now, uh, when the wither spawns, he'll spawn in here and... 
he shouldn't be able to break out. Um, because this is, he's gonna spawn here, get teleported instantly into there. That's that's the goal. So with these things here, um, I can make them too. Maybe I didn't need to shift it. Maybe that was what I did wrong. Why don't those connect? What's wrong with this clock? <laughs> All right, maybe we'll use something else. Uh, might need another clock. That one apparently doesn't seem to work very well. Maybe it's because of the uh, the mod pack too. Um, might be something that wasn't <clears throat> not the mod pack, but the uh, the texture pack that I'm using might not be working properly. So we'll I'll grab another timer. I think this is still fine. Always on. Requires redstone. Yeah, I think this would be fine. It's just the pack thread that doesn't work. I'm sure we can make it work. That's not good. It means we're going to have to use a different power source. What? When did they change that? Hmm. So there must be something that got changed in the mod pack that uh, you can't use these because these conduits. This was, the other guy was. Hmm. Alright, so we need to think around that then. Hmm. I wonder if I can just use normal redstone. See so yeah, how this is working though, but we can change that to like. Quick tick, but once every minute. You can lower that too, so that way it's really quick. But I want this to give it time to place all the blocks before it tries, tries to place the head, so we can go requires redstone signal. I guess we could do this maybe old school and kind of like maybe do a redstone line up here and then when it ticks it'll send a pulse to all that whole line. I guess I could try something like that. All right so now we got it all working right. So now that is pulsing the way it needs to pulse because there is a, a block here right. So we had to do a little bit of a redstonery here, so that's not so bad. Um, this auto, if I put it here, it I don't know, it just doesn't it doesn't control it. And then if I just loop it too close, well, it seems to interfere with that. So bringing it out here seems just fine and dandy. Uh, we got some redstone torches here going up, going all the way up here, and then we can gracefully put redstone on top here, which is awesome. So now. Now, the only thing that's missing, um, we need actually two things that are missing. One, we need to get a GPS thing here going so we can send our items over here, which is uh, this item transfer node and a GPS marker. So we need to get this stuff. And we also need to get a mob crusher. Mob. Oh, pressure this one right here. So we'll make one of these as well because this is what's going to kill our, our wither. Uh, it's going to be really important. Uh, we're also going to have to put on a, uh, a range upgrade on it. So that way it covers this room, right? We want it to cover just this room so it kills just what's in here. And at the same time, um, uh yeah i guess we'll get that done since we have our our chicken here uh, just filling everything up really nicely which is good that way it never runs out and then we need to be able to turn this on and off right so that's another thing that we really 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 need to do so we'll just uh put this here for now um actually i think it was fine where it was uh because right next to it is the wall right so um 
I want some way to turn this off. So temporarily, we're going to do something like this. Put a lever here. So if we power this lever. Uh, we'll have redstone coming yonder like this, right? Then what do we need to cancel out the power? Maybe we can do something like uh, a piston here, um, where it pulls the power away. Yep. So we can make like this here like that. We can put a piston here where this block is, right? Uh, right here. So when there's power, it's extended. It lets power go through. And then we'll be good for that. All right. I like the idea of that. That sounds very awesome. This uh, torch up here. And then we'll go get ourselves a piston, a sticky piston. And then another torch for sure because I'm tired of seeing it so dark back there. So the goal for this will be to put that hither like so. And I guess we'll uh, move this out of the way a bit. All right, so this has to go into it like that. So now this should uh, be something like this now. No, no, that no work. Oh, uh, this sh should be turning into, unless I need a repeater. Here, let me put a repeater in this one. So we need a repeater here. All right, so now that completes the loop. That's freaking awesome. All right, so now we got a repeater here. This works fine. Uh, I got some torches for back here, so it's not so dark. And then uh, I guess we'll put one over here. That should be fine. That'll be fine. That'll be fine. So, uh, let's eat. So now, when we pull the lever, right? Be able to pull this lever. It'll retract it. Power will stop. This will stop receiving signal. No more countdown. It means this shouldn't flash anymore. It means we shouldn't kill any more withers. So, that is the turn off part of all of this. All right, so now we have everything we need to make our, our mob uh, crusher. So now we got a mob crusher, which is awesome. I think we might use this to power it too. <clears throat> now these range upgrades. Range. All right, so that's plus one. So that would give it a, a two by two area. And they got, uh, that's a five by five, if I'm not mistaken. Um, because it automatically does one block in front of it, right? So you got to think it does plus two from that on each side. So um, plus two plus two would be a plus five. So yeah, I think that would be good. I think this would be enough. So we'll do a plus two add-on. That's lapis, some plastic. All right, so I think we got everything we need in order to make this range upgrade. So we only need one, right? Let's go check this out and make sure that uh, everything is good and dandy because, my lord, if this thing fails, it <laughs> won't be so good. Um, I will save it and all that there and all that good stuff. I didn't make the backup just yet, but I will. Uh, good. I'm so glad we get those back. Oh, it places forward. Oh, I wouldn't have thought that. And just remove that one. Just want to make sure. Okay. So if we go, we show on, that should be that. And if we put in the range add on, it should be a five by five. So if we go in here, it should cover that entire box. Like, honestly. Yeah, it should cover that entire box. Uh, not height wise, though, but that should be fine. It covers the entire area in there. So. That's beautiful. Um, now, if we put on this, is this going to get enough power? Let's hope it does. Um, it's free power. 
Uh, we don't have to work for it, so it should be fine. Um, if it doesn't keep up, I'll put a point on it. It'll be the same thing, right? And then we can put a chest on the end of that and gain the items from it. But we have uh, sound mufflers here that we're going to use. And we have the death wither ones. So um, I think I'm going to do this here like that. This here like this. We'll put one of those here, one of those there. Uh, here, if you right click on it, you're supposed to get rid of the uh, all the words. So we'll see which word is the right one, right? Um, and I think we should be good for that. So we're almost there, ladies and gentlemen. We're almost there to the point where we'll be able to kill a wither, right? So let's put this glass back because uh, I don't want to get uh, hurt by it or destroyed by it. So we should be good for that. Now we just got to work on the uh, items and the GPS stuff. So let's go get ready for that. All right. So uh, we should have what we need in order to make uh, this kind of stuff here. So uh, comparators, uh, I believe we need what? Just two of these puppies, right? I'll we'll just put that away. And uh, the block of gold. And then we got the item transfer node. And then this is pretty easy. That's done. <clears throat> now we have to go set that up. All right, so behind our, <clears throat> I guess, a little patount here, there are, uh, what is this called? The item barrel thing. Uh, the connector. This is where we're going to set up our little bit of a, uh, I guess, our, our wireless thing here that we're going to need to do. Boy, um, okay, so grab this out. We'll put this little puppy here and we'll toss that there. Now we are going to need a skull because we only want skulls coming in here, right? So let's grab one of these. Let's uh, grab our filter. We'll put the skull in the filter. So we say we only want to whitelist the skulls, right? So where the hell did that skull just go to? Um, I just throw it out by accident, like, where'd it go? Oh, I'm wearing it. That's what it is. Duh. Wow. Okay. Ooh, that went way over my head. Um, that's fine. <laughs> so, um, that being said, now the filter has to go into this one here, right? Yeah, so actually insert filter. Um so that's that. So that will only allow that. This will be extract always active, right? Then we can come over here. We can grab our GPS and we'll run in here. And we'll select this barrel. Bam. So that barrel is now saved, so that's when um, all these skulls should go here, right? Now, we haven't activated this yet, so this is all set up to be, yeah, that's perfect. So I did make a backup of the world, so as soon as this, uh, <laughs> so as soon as this works, well, we'll, we'll know, right? <laughs> For sure. So let's put that in there, all the skulls are going in. They're all coming over here now. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So, oh man, here's the moment of truth, I guess, to make sure that we've done all this right. So, it's pulsing. This is pulsing up here. That's there. We need to put the portal in. That's very important. Bam. So, that's good. Uh, this is working. Uh, it's killing uh, mobs in there already. That's great. So let's go ahead and turn this thing on and get out of here. Then. Oh man, oh, I'm a little nervous. 
Okay, so those should technically work when that thing pulses. Right? Or do we have it off? It's off right now. Oh boy. Now let's turn that on. Then it should pulse. There we go. The wither went in here. Did it die? Not yet. Oh. Okay, that's quite the blast. Oh, it still hits me from even here. That's crazy. There, nice. So, we are getting stuff from there. That's pretty intense. <laughs> we should sit back here for a little while. And let that go. So, we now have uh, withers. Uh, we only need technically four. And then we can get into doing what we want. We have eight in there. So it's not really getting rid of the explosions, so we'll just let that go. Um, we'll collect a bunch of other stars for now, because there's a few things I guess we can do with them, right? But I guess that's going to conclude today's episode. Um, we'll get um, in the next episode. I'll have this all turned off and everything. And the explosions look really cool on this um, on this texture pack, by the way. It's like so awesome. So I think. We can do something like this, right? Yeah, that should stop spawning the, the, the wither. So, however many are left in there, well, it shouldn't be a problem. There we go. So, it collects all the good stuff, all the loot, which is pretty cool. We can make uh, stuff with this. This is really nice. Awesome. So, just to make sure everything is good and dandy back here, it is, it is. We got uh, all the skulls have probably been placed into here. Perfect. That's good. That's good. So that's it for today, everybody. So while uh, off cam, I'll uh, have this hooked up to maybe uh, this system over here. Um, so that way it could find its way into here. So that way we can keep this stuff. Uh, the loot bags will obviously go into their boxes. I mean, this stuff will all find a new spot in here. Um, I don't think I'm keeping those cards yet. Yeah, they are already here. So we already have a place for them. So that's kind of nice. Just got to make a place for the, uh, for these three things. So that's pretty good. All right. So I hope you enjoyed the video, everybody. Like, subscribe. I will see you next time.